everyone, Diane here. Um, I'm here to discuss something a little bit different. Um, and the result will be, of course, junk journals. But um, I wanted to talk about mixed media painting. Um, I have for, oh, maybe five years done mixed media painting. Uh, I've done a lot in journals. I've done things like the, um, just on a cardboard piece, done drawings and and I used a lot of different paints and a lot of different uh, just a lot of different medias and added canvas to add texture and things like that um, I've done a lot of blocks um, wood, these are wood blocks and I've done a lot of paintings I've, I do all all sides of the paintings and um, I I sell these in my shop um, but these are a few of the designs I've done um, using all different types of paints uh, and, and pieces of paper and then decoupaging and um, just a, a, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to do. If any of you do mixed media, you know how fun it can be. Well, what I've done is um, I've taken about five years worth of uh, of, of my mixed media and I've made them into junk journal pages. Um, so a lot of these illustrations will be included in some of the new papers that I'm developing for my Etsy shop. Um, I'll show you uh, what I have. Now these this is a representation of some of the pages that I have developed for junk journals that you can purchase off my Etsy site from those paintings. Um, they have uh, lines and boxes so that you can add whatever you like to uh, your journals to make it as full or, or um, I know some people do lots of photos and lots of clippings and other people do a lot of writing so there's, there's ample room for anything you want on, on these types of pages I have uh, right now I have four groups of these pages um, available and they match all my new hand dyed lace that I have available to um, in, in the bags uh, I did a video on this and what I did was I I took all my lace and and I dyed it with I, I believe it's 12 different colors that you have the options of buying um, which are lovely um, as you can see with the papers they will match real well um, and I'll show you some examples of that and what I've done with these and then a little bit later on what I will do is I will show you um, how I make these journals and uh, I'm going I'm my plan is to do it in short little videos so that um, it, you won't have to sit down and watch it for an hour an hour and a half uh, you can do it in bits and pieces so but anyways these are my illustrations uh, they're all original so um, I did not take them from anybody there's no copywriting problems but there but there is a copywriting um, a, um, a limitation on what you can do with these so and I will include that in when you purchase the pages now some of the items that I've made with these pages um, I'll start off with a small one this is a small little mini junk journal which I have produced in a tiny little uh, mail folder and decoupaged with daisy napkins um, and the yellow shows through which was the color of the original folder mail folder um, so I thought it was a little bit too bright and I just brushed it a little bit with white paint and that's the mixed media in me so I did that to kind of tone it down then I stitched the lace over it um, all around the edge and this is one of the illustrations that I did 
um, and I enlarged it and I made it as the cover piece and it's also used as a tuck for um, to close up the, the journal but I will do separate little videos on the pages um, which will be coming up towards the end if you're interested in any of these and you want to see exactly what I did with uh, with my illustrations and all of these, um, I will be doing separate little videos, uh, quick videos on what what's on the inside. Uh, later on, I will do some little mini uh, videos as to how I took the lace and what I did to uh, create some of these things that are in these these journals. So this is the little mini journal that's available. Um, I also have two spirals. This particular one um, is a spiral. Uh, this is and again one of my my designs and uh, this was made from an old tablecloth. Um, actually a beautiful old tablecloth that my mom had. So. Um, Put some dimension by putting a little a bow on her dress on the back of her dress and also the stitching around the edge but this particular one is mostly pages uh, not very many embellishments huge amount of journaling room I put some blank line pages and I put in a few little uh, inserts that you can use for journaling or not or if you wanted to add your own pocket on the back you can do that so these are a lot of my um, illustrations that I've done um, and then I added some papers in with it that kind of complemented the colors and the, and the and the style too so this particular one has over a hundred pages um, to journal in and in the back of course has this journal belongs to which I added um, in most of my journals that um, I'm using these illustrations from so this is uh, one of the spirals the second one is more the embellished style because I know everybody likes their own things and this one I used the the actual lace that I have in these kits and as you can see it's a nice combination of colors that go along with the papers um, I love this one so I have a tendency to always start with that one but um, of course you can do anything you want and this one um, once you print out your pages you actually have two two pages so if you're doing a spiral if you were doing a um, a sewn-in version of a journal then you would be folding the pages but anyways this is I added some uh, coffee dyed and a few um, or some of the lace of course on the ends little I made little tabs with all the scraps from uh, three different colored bags uh, something like this you could add add a little photograph to it and do some journaling it would be really pretty so I'm going to touch on those things too in the coming um, weeks now this one is a piece of very thin fabric it's it was dyed it's in one of the it's in the lace kits and I add a little butterfly with some sequins uh, well actually it's it's the thick the very coarse glitter I added that in there and double stitches so I wouldn't have glitter everywhere but um, it, it kind of gives kind of a cute effect to to the page so that's another uh, tutorial we'll, I will do in the, in the future um, but, and these have some tabbed pages so this is the embellished spiral and this one has a pocket um, it's just to give you kind of a, 
a summary of what oh this one is a pocket too it's pretty lace I use some some stitching from my sewing machine some of the um, uh, fancy stitching hearts with inked this actually is wallpaper a friend gave to me um, Irene huh, Irene Delaventura and I included a lot of different elements tuck a few tuck spots little punches again so this this one is more the embellished style so it's all in what you like then I have a few of the actually heavy embellished lots of lace lots of pages um, this one also is a file folder uh, not a file folder but a mail folder which I um, decoupaged with napkins again toned down the color stitched the lace on added some embellishments and I'll give you um, a hint upcoming on what to do when you're using paper embellishments on the cover um, but this is the actual um, file folder style and of course it's sewn and it has two signatures in this particular one and offers a whole a whole lot of um, designs I did use some of the extra papers that I had um, and use some of the this is in some of these packs the um, dyed trims um, they have some of them have small pieces of this which goes a long way because you just stretch it and you can use it um, doesn't take much but a lot of these pages there are so many designs that um, I will offer also an ephemera pack which you can print out and use for your pockets uh, and tuck spots and things like that so this is uh, oh, this is also from the lace bags some of them have this others have smaller appliques so they're all different uh, the ribbons pullouts so just a quick flip through This one I did the double hearts. I did a very thin parchment paper heart in front of a colored, which I thought gave it a cute effect. Um, it was more of my scrap lace and this lovely lady. I love hers. <laughs> All right, a garden, garden angel, gardening angel, I should say. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, this is the more embellished um, one with the two signatures. And then last but not least, here's this one. This one has a little bit less pages. Um, has a, l a lot more pages for journaling or adding photos or clippings so this one is also available in the center that's where I have my little heartstrings has some coffee dyed paper Through. 
so that's about it for today. Um, these are available at my Etsy shop. And uh, the lace um, is also available. As I said, there's 12 different colors to choose from. The pages, um, the pages are available in uh, packs of five. So, and I guess that's it for now. Um, I will be doing the short videos, so uh, keep in tune, subscribe, um, turn on your little notification bell. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.